the next question we are going to see under the screencast video is briefly explain about the nematodes. Nematodes are also referred as roundworms. They are numerous in numbers and they are refers to the multicellular organisms. The nematodes are commonly related to a lot of disease causation there with reference to the plant system. However, they play an important role that is to turn the carbon 2.2 percentage of the total carbon emission from the soil is actually due to the presence of nematodes. So nematodes are particularly abundant in marine, freshwater and soil habitat. They can able to cause an economic damage to the cultivated plants. That is plants will be affected by nematodes. They are slender, unsegmented, called as a round worm, also called as a yield worms. They belong to the phylum nematoda. Adult of the nematodes will be measuring about 0.25 to 2 millimeter in length and so far around some 1200 species of nematodes have been discovered that can able to cause death or disease for the plant system. Say for example you can look at here lot of different kinds of plant associated nematodes have been shown there in this diagram and then if you look at into this diagram also it shows the type of nematode say for example root knot nematode that can able to cause root knots there in the plants. Various other plant associated nematodes were also shown here. Cyst nematode, then lesion nematode, stubby root nematode, spiral nematode, stunting nematode that is that can able to reduce the size of the plants that is called as a stunting nematodes, ring nematode, reniform nematodes. So these are all the various kinds of nematodes that can able to cause disease there in the plant system. So these nematodes will be present there in the soil. They can able to feed on the roots. But some species inhabit the bulbs. That is plants will be having some structures called as a bulb. Say for example in the onion as well as in the garlic. So in the structures also they can able to enter. They can enter into the buds, stems, leaves and flowers. These are all the structures in which you can able to find the nematode. Some kinds of soil nematodes are free living. That is they do not parasitize the plant. But they will be beneficial in the decomposition of the organic matter. That is the one we have seen in the introduction. That is nematodes are responsible for emission of 2.2 percentage of the total carbon from the soil. That is through the decomposition of the organic matter. At least 16 to 20 different nematode orders seem to exist at present. However, only a members of 10 orders have been commonly present there in the soil. And in particular, nematodes belonging to the four orders that includes Rabbitida, Tylanchida, Apalanchida and Doralamidae are commonly present there in the soil system. Soil inhabiting nematodes can be classified based on their feeding habitat. That is how they feed on the their food. Based on that they can be called as a herbivorous nematode, bacteriovorous nematode, fungivorous nematode and predator nematode and the omnivorous group of nematodes. You can look at here the mouth parts of the various kinds of nematode what I have previously discussed that is plant parasitic nematode example is a Pratilancus penetrans that found to have a needle like structure that actually pierces the plant system through which they can able to suck the plant sap and they can able to leave. Look at this video you can able to see how a plant parasitic nematode is attacking a plant and sucking the sap there from the plant system. Apart from the other forms are Fungi feeding nematode. Example is Aplanchoidus saccari that can able to attack the fungi and they can able to use it as its food. You can able to look at the other groups. This is a predatory nematode that is it can able to attack the other nematode itself. Omnivorous is the one which can able to feed on any kind of a food material. Bacterial feeder you can able to see a wide mouthed nematode that can able to simply suck the bacteria inside their body and they can able to feed. Now we will look at some more points related to every group of nematode. Herbivorous form of nematode. They are plant parasites relatively well known members of the order Tylanchidae. A few genera that belongs to order Aplanchidae and Doralamidae are also basically of a herbivorous form of nematodes. 
The mouth path is like a needle like stylet which I have showed there in the video with that they will puncture the cells during the feeding process. They commonly remain in the soil and feed on the root surface. They are endoparasites also that is they can able to enter inside the roots and they can live and feed within the roots also. The next group is the bacteriorous form of nematode. Many kinds of free living nematodes feed commonly on bacteria. They as they are commonly present there in the soil, bacterial populations were also present high in the soil. So they can be used as a food source by this bacteria. You can able to see the difference there in the mouth part belonging to both the different kinds of nematodes. A bacteriorous form of a nematode is having a broad mouth structure. So the mouth or stoma is a hollow tube like structure that helps in the ingestion of the bacteria. This group of nematodes will be commonly coming under the order Rhabditidae. These nematodes are commonly playing a major role in the decomposition of the organic matter. The next group is a fungi horse that is they feed on fungi. They use a stylet structure to puncture the fungal hyphae which is something similar to that of the puncturing of a plant cells. Many members of the order Apalanchidae are all belonging to this fungivorous form of nematodes. So compared to the bacteriorous forms of nematode, they are also associated there with the decomposition of the soil content. The next one refers to the predatory form of nematodes. They feed on other soil nematodes and other animals of a comparable small size. They feed indiscriminately that is they can able to take both plant parasitic as well as free living nematode as their food. One order of the nematode that is exclusively predaceous in nature is a that belongs to Monanchidae. Although a few predators have been also identified from the order Dorylamidae. But predatory nematodes are not a common group of nematodes present there in the soil. Next one is the omnivore form of nematode. They are the kind of nematode that feed on more than one type of food material that is that ingest fungal spores as well as bacteria that is they can able to feed on even algae, fungi and other small animals. Most of the members are coming under the order Dorylamidae. The next part is the mode of nematode attack. Nematodes will commonly parasitize on the plants by sucking the juices from them which we have already seen in the video. Feeding will be accomplished through hollow needle like mouth part which is referred as a stylet. So stylet is a path through which they can able to attack the plant system. Nematode pushes the stylet into the plant cells and inject the liquid containing enzymes. So this liquid containing enzymes will be further degrading the plant tissue and the whole liquefied contents will be sucked back by the nematodes through their digestive tract. It will be further metabolized and digested and absorbed there into the body. Nematode feeding generally results in lowering of natural resistance of the plants reduces the vigor, yield of the plants and it also offers an easy entrance of other plant pathogenic organisms such as a wilt producing and root rot producing fungi and even some bacteria that causes this wilt and root rot can able to enter inside the plant system easily because of the nematode attack. Nematode infected plant are commonly weak, often appear as a suffering from drought. Their symptom is something similar to that a plant suffering from drought or sometimes even under a plant suffering from excessive soil moisture also. That symptom will also be similar to that of the nematode affected symptom. Other symptoms include sunburn or a symptom similar to that of a mineral deficiency or mineral imbalance could be resulted due to nematode attack. Nematodes commonly results in a yield loss of about 12 percentage there in the various crop systems. The damage of plants by injuring, feeding on the root hair cells, epidermal cells, cortical cells and stellar cells. So these are the four different types of cells that have been easily attacked there by the nematode. Common symptoms of the nematode include stunting, loss of a green color there in the plant system, yellowing of the plant system, die back of the twigs that is in the twigs the 
drying will be taking place there from the back and side of the twigs not from the starting of the twig and a slow general decline of the plant growth wilting as similar to that resulted in the hot condition may also resulted by the nematode attack and the sometime the symptoms of nematode attack will be similar to that of symptom resulted due to lack of water as well as fertilizers due to the nematode attack the feeder root systems will be reduced that results in the formation of stubby or excessively branched root system that are commonly discolored and decayed in appearance now we look at the diseases that are all caused by their the nematodes so the first one is a root knot nematode where mudichu okay so that kind of things will be formed due to the nematode attack the type of the nematode involved here is a melodogyne that is the name of the nematode it's an endoparasite that produces conspicuous or unique structures that are called as a knots or gall like swellings there on the plants they are especially present in the plants that are growing in the warm climatic conditions and with long growing seasons plants that are commonly affected by this nematode includes vegetables cotton strawberry and orchard trees the next one is a root lesion nematode that is it causes lesion there or abrasion there on the root systems the name of the nematode causes is pratilanca species it's an again a endoparasite and cosmopolitan that is widely distributed there in the world they can able to cause loss to hundreds of garden as well as crop plants mainly through penetrating the roots and through which they can able to pass on there into the tissues and break down the cells and feed on them as like we have seen in the video that is they will be excreting or secreting a lot of enzyme that will be degrading the plant material and again it will be taken back by the nematode and it will be digested further they deposit eggs from which the new nematodes will be developing they can able to cause lesions there on the roots which may further help in the spread of fungi and bacteria there into the roots that in turn causes the root rot now we look at the symptoms say for example the root knot symptom you can able to see a knot like structures that have been formed there especially in the roots that is in turn caused by the melodogyne species next we will look at the explanation related to the other nematode and then we look at the symptoms back the next one is a golden nematode of potatoes which is caused by heterodira rostochinensis it is an important menace there in the european potato industries it can able to cause certain golden cyst like appearance there in the plant roots that is it will be looking like a dots which are actually the remaining of the female bodies the egg actually laid by the females will be easily hatched by the root exudates that have been exuded from the tomato as well as potato plants the next one is a citrus nematode it is called as a tylenculus semipenetrans it is a semi endoparasitic nematode which says that it can partly enter into the root tissue and part of the body will be present in the soil which is commonly occurring there in the citrus field its typical disease symptoms include slow decline of the plant system yellowing and drying of the leaf or dying back of the twigs as well as branches the next one is burrowing nematode the scientific name is rhodophyllus similis it is an endoparasitic nematode which causes serious losses there in the citrus banana avocado tomato and black pepper trees that are commonly grown in the tropical and subtropical regions of the world there are a lot of different kinds of ectoparasitic nematodes that are feeding there on the roots they include dagger nematode zipinema stubby root nematode trichodorus reniform nematodes rotilenchus and helicotilenchus pin nematode that is paratilenchus leaf and foliar nematodes which are called as a aphelenchoides so these are all various forms of ectoparasitic nematodes that will be feeding on the plant roots and it will be causing a huge damage finally we look at what are the uses of the nematode and how the plant parasitic nematodes can be better managed in the free living nematodes play an important role there in the 
beneficial process that is decomposition of the organic material that is the one we have seen in the very beginning itself so they will be involved in the recycling of nutrient there in the soil nematodes that are bacteriovorous or fungivorous do not feed directly on the soil organic matter however they are influencing the soil organic matter through indirect way that is by feeding on bacteria and fungi which forms an important component there with the organic matter portion of the soil. Thus the presence of feeding of these nematodes accelerate the decomposition process which in turn makes a nutrient available there in the soil system. So this feeding recycles minerals as well as other nutrients that have been locked inside the bacteria and fungi and other substrate they are all will be returned back to the soil which should be further accessible for the plant roots to get absorbed. Finally, we look at some points related to the nematode management. Rotations of plant with the nematode resistant species or varieties is one of the easiest way to manage the parasitic nematode infested fields. Another way is by using certain natural antagonistic population that is some organism which can able to kill the nematode directly. One is a fungus Gliocladium roseum and bacteria including Pasteria, Pseudomonas and Bacillus are, are well known for their controllability there on the nematodes. Then chemicals such as a chitosan which is a natural biocontrol material which when spread on the plants can elicit that is they form certain plant defense responses that may help to destroy the parasitic cyst nematodes in the roots of soybean, corn plant, sugar beets, potatoes, tomatoes without harming the beneficial nematodes present there in the soil. One of the important ways by which you can able to kill the nematodes is by soil streaming. This soil streaming is covering the soil with a polythene mulch. You can able to see in this diagram. The soil will be covered with a polythene whereby the surface temperature will be raised by sunlight. Due to the sun's heat, the surface temperature will be raised that can able to kill the nematode which is commonly referred as a soil solarization. You can able to see a diagram here in which they have planted two different kinds of plants. That is one that have been present in the backside with a lush green refers to nematode resistant plants. Whereas in the front sides are the plants that are highly susceptible there for the nematodes. So this is again an image which shows that the nematode has been attacked by various kind of fungal spores say gliocladium we have seen like that's a bacteria can also be able to attack the nematode and they can able to kill the nematode this is a fungi which is actually capturing the nematode and killing say we have seen a lot of points that bacteria will be able to kill the nematode a commercial transplant mix in the name of bio yield has been available for the commercial use it contains two important groups of organism one is phany bacillus macerescens and bacillus amyloliquefaciens that have been developed with the motive to control the plant parasitic nematodes associated with tomato, bell pepper as well as strawberry plants.